Um, oh, yeah. I look great. Hey guys. So you have probably seen me on social media talking about this Disney Maker Conference. What is that? You've probably asked yourself. If you don't know what the Disney Maker Conference is, it's, um, it's, um, it's not, um. I need to prepare myself before I turn on the camera. Oh, guys, things have been crazy. Okay, let me tell you. Oh, how do I explain this? How do I explain this? Um, so months and months and months ago, Maker Studios had a little bit of a contest, I guess you could call it, maybe. So it was a contest of sorts. So what you did is you filmed a Disney side video, submit it, and then they picked 50 winners from those submissions. And those 50 people got a trip to Disney World to go to the Disney Maker Creators Conference. And what that is, is a conference for people under the Maker Studios brand, I suppose you could say that, for us all to get together and collab and hang out and have fun panels and meet bigger YouTubers that we've looked up to for so many years, including Shay Carl, which is going to be crazy considering that I have been subscribed to Shay Carl since before they even started the Shay Tards. So it's been long overdue and I'm really excited and looking forward to meeting him and it's going to just be good times. We're going to be going to Disney World and filming videos and it's like my big, my first big YouTube thing and I'm really excited about it, but I've also been really having a lot of anxiety about it. So here's the thing with weight loss. You get so stoked on yourself because you've lost a considerable amount of weight, but things still suck. And let me, and let me explain that. So I've lost, I'm, I'm probably about 30, uh, 30 more, 30, 35 pounds lost now. And things are starting to, things are starting to fit me differently. My pa pants are baggy, shirts are loose. And it's definitely noticeable. The thing is, is that the only pair of pants that fits me right now is just this one pair of pants. I have one pair of pants plus like just my yoga, like the Capri yoga pants or whatever that I've been wearing because nothing fits me. But those do because I can lose a couple more pounds and still fit in those okay because they're stretchy and they were a little bit tight before. So, you know, they're going to be with me for a little while. But like I only have one pair of actual pants that barely fits me now because all my other pants are too big. Or they're too small because I kept all of my smaller clothes, but that's another story. Anyway, so I have been flipping out trying to find things to wear. And I don't have money, you guys. You know I am completely broke. I cannot afford to go shopping. So I have been stressing. I have been stressing out so bad. I tried to go shopping, and it was a horrible experience because, of course, nothing fit me. Actually, somebody on my Facebook said it's not that you didn't fit the clothes. The clothes didn't fit you, and I'm like... Yes, girl, that is how it is. The clothes don't fit me because fun fact about the plus size industry, at least this is what I have learned and it may have changed since a few years ago, but from what I experienced trying clothes on, I don't think so. What they basically do for plus size clothes is they take a size six sample and then just blow it up bigger. I don't know about you, but I don't have the same proportions as a size six. So it makes absolutely no sense. And you'll be a certain size in one store, but that will be completely the wrong size in another store. You'll go in there like, oh yeah, I'm this size. You try it on, you're like, oh, this is like six sizes too small. Like it just sets you up to feel like such a failure and it makes you feel so bad. And I'm gonna, I left crying. I left the store crying. And I was already so on edge about this whole thing because I'm gonna be, around people and I haven't been around people in a really long time and the anxiety is just taking over. <laughs> For the most part, I'm excited. It's just this closed situation. I'm going to be honest. I'm really self-conscious about it. I'm really, really self-conscious about it. And I don't know exactly what my fears are about it, but I think I'm just tired of this being a problem. I think I'm just so done with having to be embarrassed about my clothes, having to worry about my clothes. Do my clothes fit properly? Am I covered up? Like, I, I'm so sick of having, like, walking along and then my shirt kind of bunching up and always constantly pulling my shirt down. Like, it's so uncomfortable. Like, I see videos of myself constantly, like, pulling on my clothes and it's just, 
like you can tell, you can see it all over me that I'm uncomfortable and embarrassed and I'm just so tired of it and I know I have such a long ways to go with weight loss before I am at the, my goal weight but I've been feeling pretty good about myself with my 30 plus pound weight loss. I've been feeling really good about it and then this whole thing with the clothes just completely knocked me down and I haven't really been able to recover. And then on top of having to prepare to go out of town, I mean, it's so terrifying. Something I have not talked to you guys about is my goal for this year is to face my fears. And my biggest fear right now is just getting out in the world and doing things. Like being around people, taking chances, going on adventures. Of course, I don't have money as usual, so my adventures are definitely going to be locally based and free things like going to the park or going on a nature hike or going to the beach but things that I haven't done because I've been too afraid to do and this Disney World thing is the probably gonna be the biggest thing of the year oh I am like just like my stomach is just like oh, as I'm talking about it I'm freaking out and I noticed somebody who doesn't have my brain is probably thinking, Kim, you're crazy. It's just Disney World. It's not a big deal. There's going to be a lot of people there. I'm going by myself. If I had a friend with me, I'd be like, okay, yeah, whatever. I can do this. But going by myself is scary. I don't really know anybody there. Like, maybe... I mean, personally, there's like one person there that I know personally. And then the rest, I don't know. Like, I'm really excited to meet them and possibly collab with them. You'll see them on my channel. But I'm just being honest here with you guys. Like, I, it makes me scared because I have a lot of leftover crap and beliefs in my head left over from a relationship that, a horrible relationship that took place a few years ago. And it's this one residual piece of crap that will not leave me. And it's the belief that people are disgusted by my body. Which is so sad because what do we promote on this channel? Body positivity and love yourself no matter what. And I wish so badly that I could completely live that life and have that belief just like go through my entire being and know that just because some asshole made me feel like shit doesn't mean that that is true. Just because he made me believe by telling me and treating me as though my body was disgusting, that doesn't mean that everybody in this world is going to believe that, but it's the one thing from that bullshit that I cannot shake, and it's coming up in my head full force through this whole preparation to go out of town. <sighs> so, it's been really scary, but I'm sure I'm going to have a great time. The anticipation, I'm sure, is way worse than what's actually going to happen. I mean... I'm sure I'll come back on Monday and I'll be like, oh my gosh, it was great. I had nothing to fear, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not on that side yet. Right now, I just feel terrible about myself and about my body and about the clothes situation and about a lot of things going on in my life right now that I haven't ever really talked to you guys about, which I feel like I'm ready to open up more about some things about why I'm always broke and why I'm in the situation I'm in. I think I'm ready to talk about it, but not not in this video, but definitely soon. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys about the Maker Conference, the Disney Maker Conference, and let you know what I've been talking about on social media, and also to let you know that my submission video is now on my channel. You can go watch that by clicking. You can click right here to go watch my submission video if you'd like, or of course it will be linked below. It's just a silly little video to show my Disney side. So go watch that. And I'm going to have a lot of videos for you from Disney. I'm going to vlog as much as I can. I'm taking a car service to the conference, which is like my Carrie Bradshaw moment. Like I've been dreaming my whole life to take a town car to some kind of a business trip. So I'm pretty excited and I will be vlogging a lot from the back seat of that car. <laughs> so actually follow me on Instagram because I'll probably post a lot of videos. So definitely do that. Um, so I'm gonna go you guys, I have to pack. I haven't done anything. <gasps> oh, PS, um, I did go to Kohl's and I did find some really, really cute tops. Of course their pants don't fit me. They don't go up to my size, but whatever. That's to be expected. But I found so many cute tops and cardigans. So if you have been looking for some really cute plus size clothes, definitely go to Kohl's. 
I never knew Kohl's to have a very good plus size section, so I was pleasantly surprised. I will definitely film a, I don't know, what do they call it? An outfit of the day slash haul? Like a haul where I try the clothes on and I show you them. I'll film that for you. <laughs> um, it's not very many, I think it's only like four or five tops and a bra, but you don't get to see my bra, so. So yeah, me and my one pair of pants are going to go to Disney World for like four days and it's going to be really fun <laughs> and scary, but fun. Oh, guys, all of this will make sense soon when I tell you why the hell I'm this messed up. <laughs> okay, guys, so be sure to go watch the video, the submission video, thumbs it up, leave me a comment so I don't feel so self-conscious about it because it's like so not the usual type of video that I do so go show it some love and I love your faces and I just think you're wonderful and I'm so appreciative of your kindness and your friendship if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe I have a lot of really cool videos coming out so you'll definitely want to subscribe a lot of really fun cool guests are going to be appearing also on this channel in the next few days so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you from the back seat of my town car.